Hey guys, Nelfish here, and I'm bringing you a brand new Let's Build. So today we are going to be making a medi medieval Nordic farmhouse. So start off with three blocks at the beginning, and then one in, and then three more, and then another three. The original bit, and three for here, this is just so that you can build up the walls and continue along the back. And the way that it's set out means that you have an odd number at the back so you can have a furnace. And for this bit, you can do what you like. You could have a conservatory or something, which I will probably demonstrate. Or you can have it so you have a um, furnace instead. So conservatory will probably look like this, and it will be quite small. But personally, I don't like using it in my medieval or Nordic builds. And the furnace just looks weird at this edge. So I'm just going to go for the basic furnace at the back and porch like that. So in between the gaps fill it in with cobblestone. This is so you can raise it up and it also means that you are able to have it um, different types. So for example you can use acacia wood instead if you want to go for that log cabin feel but it doesn't usually look as good. Um, so yeah um, just fill in all these edges but for here you're going to want to go out one and in one and leave a and lower it down actually no wait you're going to have to raise it up quite a bit because since the rest of it's raised the bottom has to be raised so and here I was just trying to mess around and stuff and see if I could figure it out so you're going to want to do a 7 on the bottom um, 5 on the middle layer and 9 on the top and make sure you leave a solid block in the gap so fill in the rest of it with cobblestone and for here leave a gap and bring it out too. This is going to create that little porch and rain catcher. So using your spruce or dark oak or whatever you like to use, raise it up four from the original block you paste down and do this all around. This is just giving it like that skeleton structure feel. Um, and many medieval and Nordic homes had to be created from A-frames. So this is basically me trying to recreate that A-frame effect, pretty much. This is quite a tedious task though, and if in survival you're going to need scaffolding, which is just dirt or gravel. So then, using sideway logs go along, um, but if you're using Xbox 360, or something like that, your logs are most likely going to end up looking like this. And they both look fine, but I much prefer using the sideways logs. And I'm pretty sure in the next update it should be sideways logs. Now sometimes you can um, have it so that it is going out one, so it's like kind of like a Tudor one. However, it doesn't have the same effect as this one because this is a Nordic uh, medieval and back in Nordic times they didn't really have the ability to have offshoots because their construction wasn't as good. So for the next level you're going to want to raise it up another four so or you can do the roof which I prefer to do the roof as in survival it is much easier so go up three then two, and then one, and then one again. Now, if in survival, you're going to want to use dirt to do the lower platform. Otherwise, it's just not as... It takes much longer, and it's not as efficient. So you can do it so it's three, two, two, and then one. So it's quite a steep peak. However, I much prefer the slope being three, two, one, one. Which is... A much has a much nicer feel to it and just repeat on the other side make sure you match it up properly though because you don't want your roof to look all skew if which if you're not British or don't understand the term just means a bit off when it comes to the angles if you're going to do this in survival though I would recommend preparing Um also for the porch this bit has to be bigger Otherwise, you cannot put any detail into it. So, 
you got to raise it up two. Then you go up another two. And then I'm pretty sure you go up one. Which gives you the same Nordic feel to it. But it just makes it a little bit more complicated when actually roofing it. So using either spruce or dark oak planks, go along the first two parts where it's solid and there's no edge or corner to the log. So the top one is to be a stair of the three and the lower two are to be solid blocks. Otherwise it just looks all weird. So do it like so. Um, you can use spruce if you want, but it's not as rich coloured as the other. And in um, Sweden and things, they have fir trees which are rich coloured mahogany wood. But not actual mahogany because that's small jungles and things. Um, just a hint when doing this. Um, when I was recording this, I had decided to not put any audio in in the background and I was kind of making this up as I went along and because of which I kind of forgot the rule part way through that the porch goes into the roof not the roof goes into the porch which if you watch later on you'll kind of understand so for this bit you just you can use corner stairs which is a brilliant invention and join it all up and because of the way it's set out, it means that the stair block for the higher up bit will connect to the other one. So you don't have block, stair, block, stair. Now this bit's much more complicated because either you have a stair or no stair or a solid block or no solid block. So you could do that, but it just doesn't look right. And I tried experimenting. And eventually I did get the right thing, but if you just watch, you'll see how much of an error I made. So this is why you need to remember the golden rule. Porch or offshoots go into the main roof. So as you can see, I was just trying to figure it out. And when you do a lot of Minecraft builds and you haven't made something up on the spot, you just remember, do the main roof, then everything else. Now for this bit, um, I tried a different style, which was the one that Lord Dacre, um, I'll put a link to him in the description, used. Um, however, it doesn't seem to suit this build much, so I eventually ended up replacing um, that stair block there with a solid block, which made it look a lot better. And then I just put the stairs along here. Um, for the peak of the roof, do not put um, any dark oak because you're going to want to use that for the trim. Now just continue the roof along. Um, this is like one of the most tedious parts doing the roof, but once this is out of the way, you can kind of just, um, what's the word, continue without any worry. Because the hardest part is connecting the offset route roof to the main roof um because otherwise if you get that wrong it's just gonna mess up the entire look because once i did this building um it was a tudor farmhouse and i didn't match up the roof properly and because of that it kind of had the effect that the offshoot was the main part and you can't really go into the upper floor because of how i had done the roof so this is what it'll look when like when you have done the main part of the roof. Now, since the chimney's gonna be here, I've put some corner stairs facing inwards so that it doesn't connect to any of the cobblestone or cobblestone stairs that may be on it. And for here I have put solid blocks with corner stairs, otherwise you get this horrible shadow glitch, which is annoying and just doesn't work nicely. So I would recommend doing that, but you can have the shadow the stairs, but it just means that you have that shadow glitch, which at times can cause lag and onto the spawns within your home, which don't think that's something that you'd really want to wake up to.
So you can for your trim, you could use oak stairs, cobblestone stairs. However, I would suggest using stone brick stairs. It's got a much bolder contrast to it than that of other wood types. And I think it goes with the stone feel as well. So put stone brick stairs facing outwards on the uppermost struts, I'll call them that, um, of your home and along the edges. Now for the peak, you're going to want to put an upside down stair. Um, this is so that it's all smoothed out because I'm going to be putting upside down stairs on most of it anyway. Um, so yeah. Now you can change the way that your roof is formatted. So you can have it so that every three or two it goes up, it um, goes out one so that it's got that curved Nordic feel. However, um, that's really hard to accomplish in survival and I wouldn't recommend it. So, just continue the same for here. Um, do not put stair blocks in the solid blocks though, because it just does not work well. Um, so yeah. So for this bit, you're going to want to go out a little bit extra, and it's only because it's an offshoot. And just, this was a mistake that I committed, and it's one that I'm probably never going to live down. So stop about there, otherwise it looks bit off if you're cutting across most of the roof and the attic with stairs which shouldn't be there. Um, I had to quickly put an upside down stair there so that I could work out where to place it. So I removed that stair and put an upside down stair there. And also you're going to want to put a solid block there, solid there. And on all the solid blocks, put um, another, like for the trim, a solid block. Otherwise, if you have a bunch of stairs, it has this gap effect. And it can be good if you have lighting behind it. But for the roof, you kind of don't want any gaps, otherwise moths get in. And if you have a mother who has a phobia of moths like me, you kind of don't want them to come in. So you have had to kill like five moths in the past week just for her. She is really scared of them. Um, I eventually came up with the idea of just sticking an upside down stair there and removing that corner one. There's really no point of having a messy stair. And facing the other way, put the upside down stairs. Make sure it's on the top half of the block. Otherwise, it will face. Um, it'll be like the normal, like proper stair instead of the upside down stair. So do this on all the trim. It gives it that smoothed effect, as like a guttering, but it also means that it has a nice quality finish. This is also a problem in survival, because you have to raise the scaffolding ever so often, just so that you can reach the parts to do the upside down stairs. And... If you don't have enough dirt or anything, it can be a pain, but it can be accomplished if you are prepared. And for here, put two. This is just so it gives it the effect that it's all smoothed off. And then at the top, put a normal stair, an upside down stair, and then a normal on top of the other normal stair. Or you can use um, a stone half slab. But it doesn't look... That looks more like a dragon. Whereas the other one's more of a reindeer. And, or deer. Which are common in Scandinavian parts. And for this bit, just put one there. Another um, upside down. And just a half slab or something. And it has a, nicer, has a nice look. Now just half slab at the top of the peak. So that it's raised. This just gives it the nice trim. And this nice trim, if you were to search, um, for example, old medieval homes, you'd see that thatched homes and things like that would have these trims to hold in the reeds. Now for this bit, you can either use proper full stone bricks or stone brick stairs. 
Personally, I prefer stone brick stairs, um, but you can just use normal stone brick because it just gives it that, it makes it stand out a lot more. Now, you're going to want to make the floor of a different colour to that of the roof, so I'd recommend using spruce planks because it's a much better colour and it's much richer than that of oak because oak is kind of a washed out version and birch is just like a bleached hair pretty much in comparison. So you're going to want to fill it all in and because it's raised you don't have to dig away any grass or anything so it's a lot more efficient having it raised than having it lowered and it also means that you can have a basement as well if you want and you don't have to dig as much because you'll only have to dig three levels down or four levels or however many deep you want it instead of an extra one because of it being on the ground floor so fill that in um, and then using cobblestone stairs or stone stairs as it says in the description um, put it upside down so it has that mantle effect and using cobblestone walls put that to the side so if you look at a picture of a fireplace usually they have these long cylindrical poles that go up and are usually of the same colour of the um, mantelpiece. So you can put an upside down stair there, but or, or there, like a, um, what's it call it? a corner stair. However, these don't usually look as good, and I much prefer the solid blocks, because the solid blocks have more of a what's aesthetically pleasing look than the um, multiple stair ones. So this is what it looks like when you've got all the foundations and the roof sorted. Now you're going to want to grab some, um, oh my gosh, my brain is stupid, oak stairs for here, because um, no doubt if you're just starting off in survival you're going to want to do this so that when you're going into the porch you have some small windows. However, I much prefer the um, sunken effect, so you can use andesite or a cobblestone looking block, but I'm going to use the same block used as for the trim, because I like the richness and the colour, and just, if you want, you can either keep those oak ones, or remove them and put um, these stone bricks in. It does mean that you lose some windows, but... Not many homes have windows in the porch, and it looks quite nice, and it blends well with the cobblestone, and gives a good contrast to the spruce. So for the corner ones, you don't need um, that many, you just need about um, six for the first layer, six for the top layer, and three for the middle layer. So you could probably whack off the bottom floor with about one and a half stacks of stone brick or even just a stack just depends really um, you can always increase the size of this by increasing the number of um, windows and things for example instead of it being two wide it could be three wide or four wide it's completely changeable as long as you keep the structure and the skeleton otherwise you could lose it would just lose its form so leave a one a one space gap because this is where the window will be going and even though over here it kind of has less room you're going to want to put your spruce um, you don't want to have any spruce you're just going to want to put some um, upside down and normal size um, stairs and put a torch there this is just for lighting and put it on the adjacent um, I mean the opposite spruce support. Um, you can. I don't know what I was trying to do here, but it just didn't look good. So I ended up. Ah, uh, do do sideward stairs. Um, adjacent to the cobblestone wall, so that it looks like it's connected to the main wall. However, it's just so that it doesn't show the space behind the spruce. 
and when you have your spruce like this, it gives it that nice, um, it makes it a cosy interior. So this is what it looks like with all the walls finished for the bottom floor. Now, you're probably going to want to put some decoration on, which I'll cover later. So now, what you're going to want is either um, snow, um, what's I'm going to call it, um, white wool or light grey wool. This will be for your second floor. Because for the top, for the second floor, you're going to want to either use um, light grey, white, or snow. This is because many medieval had thatch, not not thatch, but it was like a mixture of cow poop and lime, which they used um, as insulation. So for this, you're going to want to probably use light grey, because since most of it's made out of stone and it has that stone effect, um. Light grey is probably your best bet, and it also matches with an earthy, deep colour. Um, you don't want to use normal grey though, because that's just way too grey. It's like there's only two greys, not fifty shades of grey in this, so it's not full of bondage. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna turn down the um, view distance because it's kind of laggy. So yeah, and just do. Make sure it's indented again for all of them and leave some decent space for windows. Um, because it's going to be window panes you're going to be putting in, make sure that there is a block either side of the gap. Otherwise it doesn't connect properly or you can see in and it doesn't give it that um, nice polished feel. If you kind of know what I mean. I don't know what I mean, I'm just rambling on here. So yeah, um, fill it all in and oh, knock through there and you're going to want to knock through there. I made a bit of a mistake here by not knocking through there and thinking I could have another window because you're going to have to put a um, second load of struts. So get your spruce again and put some sideway logs along. This is because you've got two floors and then an attic and this is what will look like um, without any decoration so I've put some andesite and some trap doors all around this is just basic decoration and uh, it's you, it's for example in survival and you haven't got many resources this is probably what you'll do and you'll probably flick these up so that it looks like the shutter windows and then upside down stairs and cobblestone wall and things but these aren't it's not that what's the word time consuming or nice looking I'm not too sure it's not as magnificent as the other ones and you, you'd probably have to you'd probably struggle with this bit so you'd put an upside down stair and some cobblestone wall trying to make it look nice but Getting decoration right is kind of difficult, especially when you are using basic grey materials. I'll probably end up doing a let's build decoration episode just so that I can show you the different decorative ways that you can decorate things. So for your porch, you're going to want to kind of have a um, outset. So I was me messing around here trying to have that little bit that pops out by putting walls up higher and putting stairs in different places trying to make it have that porch feel if you know what I mean but I kept toying with the idea and sometimes it wouldn't work sometimes it would work I eventually put upside down stairs there because it all connected and it looked quite good um, so yeah, I also removed this bit because it was way too high and it was kind of obstructing the view from the window. So I put a half slab instead, which is much more subtle, gives it that smooth the round off the the round offed effect. Seriously, I cannot speak anymore. And put a stair there so that it goes straight in. You're gonna probably put upside down cobble stair cobblestone stairs here. 
and um, maybe do some patterns and things but I honestly don't recommend using this because um, I was just testing things out really and it didn't look that good so you can do it like this but there's a weird bug in Minecraft where you put the cobblestone stairs down but it doesn't do it properly another one you could do which I much prefer is an upside down spruce stair and a sideways then a normal and then another sideways stair with two cobblestone fences so it gives you that um, proper window feel it's a more modern looking window but it is very nice and I'm using it in one of my castle wall builds which I'll hopefully be showing a tutorial to you guys later now onto the chimney so for this you're gonna wanna have a hole in the middle it's not really for any purpose I just it saves cobblestone so you're gonna wanna raise this up just so that it's above the level of the roof and you're gonna want to do this for all sides um, because then we can sculpt it so that we know what it will look like and how good it will so once you've done it it should look like this and it'll be a 3x3 three three cube so raise one bit up by one and make sure it's at the closest edge to the front and then bring the rest down one and then the back two bring down one and then the very back one bring down two at the edges um, bring that one down one the other one down and bring that right down and then two down this so this is so it has that slanted yet smooth effect now put the cobblestone wall there because this is going to be working as the pipe and have it going up two then up two there um actually up three up three again and then up two and then up one down there so and then fill that bit in then you're going to want to put two up and it'll actually um yeah you're going to want to put two up so that it's three there or one there Um, I was kind of toying around with the idea here so you're going to need to then get some cobblestone stairs and slab so put the slab at the very top this is so that the um chimney has like an out a bit where all the smoke and things can come out and if you were to look at some Victorian buildings and their chimneys most of them have these chimney pots however I'm having to use basically the rawest materials for this because in Minecraft it's not as advanced as the computer version. The computer version we have plant pots so I could have done the com like the proper flower pot things at the top for the chimney pot. So that's what the chimney will look like. So yeah. Um ooh. so this is pretty much what it'll look like with basic de decorations no windows or anything so you're gonna to want to put windows in all of it so I've changed up the decoration so I've put these fences and oak as well as the grass box and the trap door now for the decoration for the second floor you're gonna to want to get um, some spruce fence some um, what's a Macaulay spruce stairs and some spruce wooden slabs so put the spruce wood and the slabs on the top three and the bottom three for the five size ones and have the corner stairs going in so it's got that rounded effect like so and for the front bit you're going to want to put an upside down stair there there and a cobblestone slab there and two spruce fences so for the other side just repeat so yeah thanks for watching